Welcome back everyone. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. And what I want to do today is I want to talk about the installation of the YF122S. This is the SSB filter unit. Um, so this has apparently a ceramic, um, I guess, filter and this one's a crystal filter. And many people have said that it does sound better. Looking at some of the YouTube videos and the descriptions on Eham, seems like it might be a good investment, especially if you want a little bit better high fidelity quality audio. Definitely headphones are important um, to get that performance, I think. And then also, uh, I'm going to install the TCX, and that looks like an O, uh, I mean a zero because it's uh, elongated, but I'm not sure. Um, TCX0O-9. Um, I'm, I'm, it's probably an O. In the, in, in the manual, it looks like an, uh, an O and a zero. Zero is a, more, a little more elongated. But anyway, um, this is the optional high stability reference oscillator great for FT8 um, and it gives you definitely uh, provides a higher stability over a right, wide range of ambient temperatures uh, so that uh, you can enhance your digital mode operations apparently it doesn't do anything for SSB apparently but you never know okay maybe a little bit uh, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna install these two I am going to um, show you, um, I have it all plugged in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in here, let's zoom in here a little bit, there you go, and we're gonna turn this on. If you press this button here, the function button once, you can see you're in a, um, multifunction mode N as in Nancy. And it tells you that you have this C fill, which is the built in filter. And you can't really, if you press and hold, you can't really disengage it. So when we install the F, the YF122S unit, there should be, uh, right here where it says non applicable, there should be something here that states that there's something installed. Um, in the radio and we also going to change a setting in the radio um, but that's after I put it in for the installation of the filter and that is for to transmit if I want to transmit with the filter or not okay let's turn this off all right so I turn this off I'm going to disconnect it. It'll be just a little bit safer. Okay, I'm gonna put it over here somewhere. I'm gonna zoom out. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I'm gonna unplug it. Very important to unplug it. That's if I can do it. There we go. Of course, there's still uh, things that are still charged in here so be very careful when you open the box and if you read the instructions it says turn the transceiver's power off by pressing and holding the power switch for one second then disconnect the DC cable from the input jack on the rear panel of the transceiver and that's it okay you don't have to press the power button again to discharge it um, probably not necessary Okay, so I'm going to orient the radio the way it is in the manual. All right, let's see, make sure you can see that. All right, we're going to be taking some um, screws off, okay? We're going to take this screw here, that's over here on the top these two here so that's three and then two on the side 
Okay. There's one there. There's another one here. And on the other side, there's one right there and one right here. Now, you can see the top panel, right? It's nice and flush. So when we put it back, it's not over this, right? It's nice and flush. This, this machine is 12 years old and it still looks solid. Man, I wish they would make things like this again. Um, it's worth every penny. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my uh, iFix kit. Fix it kit. You ever seen one of these? It's pretty neat. They have a bunch of screw uh, driver sets. I'm going to take this one, and I think this one has a pH 1 or something. Yeah, pH 1 bit. All right, let's put it here. Let's move these out of the way. And when, when I take them off, I just orient them and kind of like remember how I did them. I'm going to put this one on the top here. Now there's two screws over here that you don't want to take off. That's for the microphone. So I'm going to take this one off. As you can see, I've kind of like oriented the screw to the left and on the bottom. You have your own system, of course. Okay. And then to demonstrate, I'm just going to do this one this way. So you can see there's a screw here. So you don't have to put it vertically. I just did so that you can see what I'm doing, sort of. All right. You can see there's other holes here. That's for the bracket. I think those are M4, M46 screws. You gotta look at the manual. All right, put these here. Now I'm going to do it here. This is a bit more safer because I don't want the panel to just slip off because there's a wire that's connected uh, from the speaker to the board. And if you just pull this off, you might tear that wire. You definitely don't want to do that. So gingerly slip this off. Careful. Okay. And here's the mic. And here's that wire. I'm going to put this a little bit nearby. Okay. Good. All right. So we have this here. I'm going to do the crystal filter first. I really am curious to hear how that's going to sound. Uh, I would touch metal, right? Touch some metal so that you don't have any charge on your fingers. Okay. Now, when I first got this, um, here, we're going to zoom in. I want you to look at the parts. Uh, so we'll do it like this. Okay. Let's try to focus. There we go. Okay. Oh, wrong way. How about that way? <laughs> Trying to focus. As you can see, as a f it looks like a um, phone number, but it's not. Collins Mechanical Filter, and what else does it say? It says Yesu XF 1195N, 455 kHz. And you look at the box, nothing matches. But I've looked at many examples, and they have the, the same numbers. So I wouldn't worry. If you get one. Uh, this is not the Chinese version. Um, this is a the one that they make in Japan, I guess. Okay, it's a Yesu product. All right, 
Now you'll see a couple of things before we put the filter. A little bit hard to see, but there are four pins here. Don't touch these things, of course. These are capacitors. Those might be still charged. Uh, you don't want to short circuit anything. These over here are three pins. This is four pins. It says right here, fill one and fill two. Just like the when we um, plugged the radio and we looked at um, the multifunction row, uh, N as in Nancy, and there was an NA and another NA, maybe NA1, NA2. Either way, when we fill in the uh, mechanical filter right here, one of those slots will be uh, now busy. All right, and then over here on this side, we have the optional high stability reference oscillator, the TCX09. Okay, now this, when I first saw this online, I was like, wait a minute, it already has a filter, but this is, seems to be some type of reference uh, oscillator or something. Okay, as for the filter itself, you'll see that it has three slots, four slots, okay? And on the underside, you'll see that as well. You'll see that there's four here and three here. All right, very hard to see. So there's three there and there's four here. And then what you wanna do is you wanna put this in a parallel configuration Try not to touch that cap. You know, you do your best. It's probably not going to harm you or anything. And just, it will land on top of it really nicely. It's engineered very nicely. Do not force anything. These pins, <laughs> these pins right here, they're very delicate. Um, now, if you install it the other way, it won't work. Um, it won't blow up, fortunately, but it won't work. And then what you do is you press on this symmetrically as much as you can. And it's locked in nice and tight. Okay, so we're done with the mechanical filter, the YF122S. Now let's try the other filter. Apparently, in the documentation, again, it says to turn it off, right, the unit, and it says um, remove the seven screws, which you did, and it says locate the factory installed reference unit on the board. Remove the factory installed ref unit from the board, then position the um, TCXO. So this right here is what we need to remove. So. We'll try to remove it as gingerly as we can. And I know you can't see that. So I just pulled this a little bit. And I'm going to try to pull the other side a little bit off. Again, you don't want to damage any of the pins. So I'm, I'm going back and forth. Um, lifting one little piece, lifting the other slowly. So I won't damage any of the pins in it seems to have some type of like oil or something a little bit don't use a screwdriver don't use um, any uh, like some, you know some metal device just gingerly pull it out this is look uh, it has a screw and at first when I saw it I was like oh it's screwed in there but it's not. Okay, I'm gonna put that back in the bag. And I'm not sure who would want a reference, uh, you know, whatever this is, a reference unit. And if somebody does, that's great. I don't think you can sell it, but okay. Okay, then let's take out the unit, touch something metal, 
make sure you don't have any built up charge. Now, let's look at this again more closely. You might think you might install it here and here, but you don't. What you do is you install it on this side. And these are the holes here and here. There's three here and there's four. And we're going to install it the way we installed the other, uh, uninstalled the other one. It's going to be facing this way, like this. There are three pins here. And there are four pins here. And it should just slide in. Okay. For a moment there, I thought I had to install it this way. And you push it in. But it didn't seem to have enough room. That's why I install it. This should just slide in nicely. And it does. There it is. See? Wow. Now that's a better fit. Very nice. Okay, you gotta pay you gotta pay attention. For a moment there, I didn't think it was gonna install very nicely. But sometimes you have to go back and and think about it before you ruin it. Um, and you don't wanna do that. I'm putting the reference unit back in the box. Alright. Okay, now we're gonna expand this a little bit. All right, very nice. And as you can see, you have um, look at that. Let's look at this a little bit. I mean, it's open. You might as well look to see what's inside, right? There are these two fans here. Definitely, if any of these fans fail, um, you're not gonna have a very uh, very good uh, flow. Wondering if the if the air comes in or out, probably out. So definitely, that's why there, there's uh, some fins on this side. And I don't want to lift this up because I don't want to break this line over here. But there are fins here. And I'm guessing. I'm guessing it pulls out the heat. This side probably wouldn't be a good side to put it in a bag, wouldn't it? It would probably be best. To put it the other way so it can breathe which is a good hint if you're going to install this in a backpack or something and then there's these other pins I'm, I'm curious what these pins are I'm going to definitely see what those are um, and it looks pretty clean for a 12 year old machine okay so let's put this back Again, don't lift it very high. And you'll see it slides in very nicely right here. Right? And because, you know, this is probably adjusted to the way it likes. The screws might not align very nicely with the case because it's been some time, or probably never, that this case has been open. So what I'm going to do I'm not going to work backwards. I'm just going to figure out what screws I want to put first, like the top screws. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this here, but I'm not going to tighten it. I'm just going to leave it loose so that I can adjust the other ones. Of course, you can do anything you want. You're like, you don't need to do that. I know you don't. But I don't want to strip any of these. Um screws okay all right yeah um, I think this is the right one if not I'll look at it in the video it doesn't really matter make sure you there you go again I didn't tighten it and some people would say go on the other side and I would be like, yeah, sure, why not? It's not a bad idea. Like, you know how you put a tire on? And you put the nuts on? You gotta do it a diamond shape? 
so that you can put equal pressure on the bolts. Okay, again, I have not put a lot of force there. And now that all the screws are there, now I'm going to start tightening it up. Best practice. I'm going to turn it on. I can put it on the side here. I can turn it on and see if we can find that menu. It doesn't have to be super tight. So don't over tighten it. It might strip the screw. Wow. Look at that. That's really nice. So we're going to put this connected here. I think. There we go. I heard it snap. And I wonder if we can you put it this way instead. This way seems to be stable. All right. I'll turn it around so we can show you what's going on. Um, power supply. Okay, put it on. Hopefully, this will work. And then we'll zoom in. All right. I'll move this over. Okay, and that looks really nice. Press and hold the power button. Oh, look at that. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So, if you press the function button once, using the multifunctions, go to the letter N, as in Nancy, and you can see the um, C fill is there, and then the 2.3. Let's see, let's put up volume. Covering the speaker there. Looks a little bit, a tiny bit more volume. Reading in eHams, somebody was saying it's going to give you one S unit. I don't know about that. It's possible. Okay, now, what about um, when you transmit, right? Do you want to use that filter? You can do that. Press and hold on the function button here. And under number 86, instead of C-fill, you put the 2.3. Press and hold on the function button. And now you're going to transmit that way. Okay. That, um, that wasn't too bad. The um, Chinese versions, I don't know how well they do. Uh, you can always maybe go to EHAM or go into the um, 87857 group uh, and see if some people say it that they're good for the price. Um, definitely I want Yesu equipment and you know make sure nothing is a go awry. But I'm gonna be testing this out uh, pretty soon uh, using it for uh, POTA activations and see you know for mobile and see if it does any any better than the IC7100 and so far with, without using the filter uh, it's performed very well and I'm definitely I want to talk about it but um, I got to put my thoughts together so if you have any questions um, or you have the other filter that you 
um, found on eBay or something and they're selling, you know, please tell me. I definitely want to put the other filter on and see how that sounds. Um, so then again, please uh, consider subscribing. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope you have a great day. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie, Zero Oscar.